Olá pessoal, welcome to Kingdom Influencer. I was just, you know, in prayer. And as I was praying, um, the Lord started um, leading me to break yokes off of some people, right? So as I was praying, breaking off the yokes and everything, the Lord um, gave me a vision of a yoke. And on that yoke, I saw a man and... Um, I first saw that the yoke um, on the other side, on the right side, it had no one. But then later on that yoke, um, I saw, I didn't see someone, but let's just say I saw like darkness on that side, right? And as I carried on praying in tongues, as I carried on praying, the Lord uh, started um, downloading and just giving me revelation of what he was showing me. And the Lord was saying that there are spouses that in the spirit realm they are they are yoked up if that is even a word that they are yoked up with the wrong people right that they are still connected to people that they are not supposed to be connected to um i believe that this is deeper than a soul tie uh, because a soul tie allows you still to be in a relationship allows you still to move on with your life, but you still have that memory. You still have things that pull you back to that person. But this yoke that the Lord, that the Lord showed me, I got the sense that this is deep. That if um, let me just go to the scripture quickly so that things make sense, right? So we see that. In Second Corinthians, um, chapter six, verse fourteen and fifteen, it says, "Do not be yoked together with unbelievers. For what righteous, for what do righteousness and wickedness have in common? Or what fellowship can light have?" with darkness what harmony is there between christ and baal what does a believer have in common with an unbeliever so um when the lord showed me that that vision he showed me that right now there are women there are men that are standing in the gap that they are representing the believers they are representing harmony they are representing righteousness but their partners in the spiritual realm, they are yoked up with someone that isn't a believer, someone that is the opposite of harmony, someone that is the opposite of righteousness. And this is just the Lord trying to get across to me, trying to get across to us that these people are unequally yoked. Not that they are yoked with someone that is evil, not that they are yoked with someone that does not come from God, but they are yoked in the sense that they are connected to someone that isn't God's plan for their lives. They may be so connected to an ex, they may be so connected to someone else, or even just a boyfriend, a girlfriend right now, or just um, a woman that has been presented to this guy or a guy that has been presented to this woman. And the Lord is saying they are unequally yoked because this is not the partner that God has for them. This is not the one that God has chosen for them. And in this vision, I got the sense that there are people that keep going back to their past, that keep going back to an old relationship. It goes deeper than a soul tie. We know that a yoke is what they usually put around the animals, right? So when um, an animal is unequally yoked, it's when um, on this yoke there is a cow and let's say there is a horse or there is a goat. A cow has its own mindset. It has its own habit. It has its own purpose in this world. And a horse has its own mindset, its own purpose. A horse 
has its own lifestyle. So putting a horse and a cow under the same yoke, it just isn't going to work. Because one is going to pull on one side, the other is going to pull on the other side. And they can't walk together. They can't do things together. So what the Lord showed is that spiritually there are people that are still yoked up with someone else and because they are yoked up with someone else there is no space there is no there's nothing that is allowing them to connect with the person that they are supposed to be connecting with we know that whatever needs to happen in the natural must first happen in the spirit in the spiritual realm and right now these things aren't happening these couples aren't coming together because in the spiritual realm, they are yoked up with someone else. That side of the yoke isn't empty. That side of the yoke isn't available. So even if you try to connect to this person, even if you try coming close to this person, even if you try making things work, it won't happen. Because spiritually, that vacancy has already been occupied. So I believe when the Lord was telling me to break these yokes to break people that are unequally yoked spiritually, it is so that that vacancy can be opened. I don't know if you guys are understanding me. I don't know if I am making sense. And once again, I need to say this, that this word isn't for everyone. This word can be for one or two people. This word isn't for any for everyone. I am not saying that this is your situation. I'm not saying that this is what you are going through. Test this word. Test the spirit and find out if this is for you. Because I know what I saw. I know what I saw. And as I broke this yoke, as I broke this yoke, as I made this vacancy open, in the natu- in the spiritual realm i believe that the lord has given the lord says in his word that he has given us authority that everything um under this earth that everything in this earth he has given us authority over and as an intercessor i believe that i have authority to break to destroy certain things not not even certain things, to destroy all things that God calls me to destroy. And as I broke these yokes, as I broke these people that are still bound or are in bondages to certain people, I actually saw them connecting to their rightful person. I actually saw them coming together with their rightful person. And like the Bible says, Two can only walk walk together if they are in agreement. And I saw them walking together. I saw them doing the work of the Lord together. I saw them building together. I saw them raising together. So right now, like I said in the audio yesterday, if you see that back and forth, that back and forth, that back and forth, yes, the enemy doesn't want you to, to come together. That's why He has put someone, he has put a spirit, he has put whatever to occupy that yoke. And right now what is being highlighted to me is that I saw the man, the head, right? I saw the men, I saw the head of the household with the yoke being un, being unequally yoked you know yeah that makes sense and this is just to show the attack that the devil has on these men it's just to show how the devil is actually so frustrated and so upset that the plan that he has had for centuries for centuries against the men of god is actually failing the enemy has attacked men so much the enemy has attacked fathers so much the enemy has attacked the men of god so much and i believe that this was just another attack of his this was just another strategies a strategy of the enemy he probably thought no if i can keep them yoked 
to the wrong people, to the wrong spirit, to whatever it is that the enemy wants to put in that place. The enemy probably thought then the purpose of God in their lives will not be fulfilled. Yeah, they can seem happy. They can seem like they have taken 10 steps forward when in the meantime, they were supposed to take 100 steps forward. The enemy keeps, the enemy was trying to still lure them in to keep them bound, to make them feel like, oh no, you're advancing. Oh no, you're getting this. Oh no, this is happening. When in actual fact, there is so much more that they are supposed to be receiving. There are so much, there is so much more that they are supposed to be doing. And I just praise Lord, I thank God that he has revealed the tactic of the enemy. That's why I believe that every man, every woman that was unequally yoked in the spirit, that the enemy tried to use this tactic against them, it has now been destroyed. It has now been broken. For the word of the Lord says that the anointing of God breaks and destroys the yoke of the enemy. There is no chain. There is no weapon. There is nothing that the enemy can bring against you, man of God. Bring against you, woman of God, that the name of Jesus cannot break. Chains break at the mention of his name. At the mention of the name Jesus Chains right now are breaking. Yokes are being destroyed. We decree right now that in the powerful name of Jesus, every man, every woman that are unequally yoked in the spirit, that it be destroyed, it be broken right now. We decree right now, we speak right now, deliverance. We say right now that these men, that these women of God that have been bound, they are now set free in the name of Jesus. They will no longer walk in disagreement. They will no longer be pulled to the left or to the right. But right now in the name of Jesus Christ, right now in the powerful name of our Lord and Savior, They are walking in harmony. They are walking in light. They are walking in agreement. For the enemy has no power. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, upon every person that the enemy tried to bind, that the enemy tried to capture That it be destroyed, it be cancelled in the name of Jesus. And I just speak release. The release of God. The release of God. The release of God. I speak release right now. I speak release right now. I come against every double-minded thought. I come against the tactic of the enemy to torment their mind. The spirit of confusion, I bind it in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, I praise you that you are not a man that you shall lie. You say, Father, Lord God, that what you reveal, you destroy. I thank you, Father, Lord God, for this revelation. I thank you that once again, the weapon of the enemy will not prosper. The enemy thought that what he was doing was prospering. But we thank you, Father, Lord God, for no weapon formed against your children shall prosper. We thank you that your angels have been released, Father Lord God, and they are fighting in our favor. They are destroying whatever the enemy has done. They are breaking these yokes. They are destroying, Father Lord God, whatever the enemy planned. The tactics of the enemy be destroyed. May the angels of God keep waging war. May the the angels of God keep fighting in our favor until victory is totally ours. Until we have won fully, O God. Fully, Father, because victory belongs to Jesus. And we are seated at the right hand of the Father. We are there with you. We are co-heirs with Christ. So we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father, Lord God, that victory is ours as well. That victory is ours as well. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you are doing. I thank you, Father, Lord God, 
that they are no longer bound for the Lord God, but they are free. They have been set free. They have been set free. They have been set free. No longer unequally yoked, but now equally yoked. No longer unequally yoked, but now equally yoked, God. Equally yoked, equally yoked, equally yoked in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. The tug of war in their mind. I silence the voice of the enemy. I silence the voice of the enemy right now in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus Christ. We praise your name, O God. I thank you for the Lord God that you are at work. I thank you for the Lord God that the enemy has been caught, oh Father. I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that he has no power. I thank you for the Lord God that you reign, oh God. You reign, oh Father. Like you say in your word, you have never left us nor forsaken us. That you are a true, 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 true God and faithful God. I thank you, Father. I give you the honor, I give you the glory and all the praise, O oh God. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. I hope I hope I was able to articulate what God wanted to get across, what God wanted to say. I hope that I was really able to articulate what the Father was saying to me and I hope that I got it across to you guys. I hope that I got it across to you guys. So, yeah, the plans of the enemy will not prosper. He tried it. He really, really tried it. I really believe that this was something that the enemy had up his sleeve. And he thought like, yeah, I won. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I won. But... Nah, Satan, not today and not ever, not ever. So like we heard yesterday, the Lord said there was the breakers anointing. And today he revealed that there are yokes that have to be broken. And because you have the breakers anointing, you can also wage and you can also fight. You can break any yoke. That the enemy is trying to put over your life. That the enemy is trying to put over your family. Over your business. Whatever yoke that does not come from God. Whatever is making your situation unequally yoked. You have the authority. You have the power to destroy it. You have the power to tear it apart. You have the power to come up against it. So we just want to thank God for that. We really just, I just really want to thank God for that. I want to thank God for it. I really want to thank God for his mercy, his goodness, and for him allowing us to see what the enemy was actually planning. Oh, I just feel like dancing right now. I just feel like dancing because I can feel that the enemy is upset. The enemy is upset. If we thought the enemy was upset yesterday... Oh, today he's mad. He's really, 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 really mad. But we praise God. And I'll just speak covering, the covering, an edge of protection over you, the edge of protection over your family. May you guys be protected throughout this weekend. May no, may no harm come near you guys. May you guys be under the shadow, under the protection of Jesus. He is our fortress, our refuge. And have a nice and good weekend, guys. Umbejum. I love you guys. Bye-bye.